tried to put up a fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another FFT AI battle. So on top, uh, we have Endemity, a newcomer, and the, uh, his team name is Royal Architects. And then on bottom, we have uh, Melissa, and her team's name is uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, based off of the anime. It's a fucking amazing anime, too. I highly recommend you go check it out. You will love it. So, all right, let's introduce the units for both of the teams. So for Endemity, I believe that's how it's pronounced, we got... Regulus the Knight, Falmahut the Priest, Antares the Ninja, and Adelbaran the Dark Behemoth. I think that's how it's pronounced. I have to go look that shit up later on. But yeah, okay. So now for Melissa, we have Wrath the Ninja, Envy the Wizard, Greed the Monk, and Lust the Geomancer. So. Uh, I noticed it right away with the knight on Indemnity's team, with the Ragnarok, he has auto shell, which means, in essence, that the auto shell is going to cancel out the damage provided by magic attack up the four-thirds multiplier booster, which is what this is. To magic attack, it's going to reduce that damage, meaning he's not going to take as much from her. Uh, having said that, with him having monster skill, if this Dark Behemoth ever gets low and stands right next to him, um, well, I'm a guest and he gets to like 500 HP, it's unavoidable to kill someone. So, oh, it comes from the oh, two anime teams and Saint Seiya. I haven't seen that one before. Thank you, Prometheus. So, we got two anime contenders right at it, then, huh? Awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Excellent. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know who's going to win. Again, if you want to take a look at Kapats, you could pause the video and then try to match them up and see where be good, best, and bad Kapats are. Uh, the only comment I'll make is that Wrath, being a ninja with two swords, just like he is in the anime, I love the theme. Fucking awesome. So, all right, let's get right to it then. So, for our first map, where the blood is going to be shed the most quickly, we're going to go to Office of Egros Castle. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to this. Two anime teams. Which anime will prevail? Oh, they didn't? Interesting. Well, you know, you know, uh, people can create their teams however they want. I'm not here to judge, so it's all good. Maybe they'll be able to pull it off anyways. We'll see. So Ninja's going at it. Very nice. All that HP from the throw is immediately healed up. That's okay, though. Silent Song, minimal percent. I'm surprised. She's still alive. That monk has like 500 HP because of that uh, Maximilian, so very nice. I don't agree with Secret Fist on ninjas. You want to put it on tanks. <laughs> I love that big smack for 20 damage. Oof. Very interesting. Uh, she was taken out, but they did invest like three people into attacking her. Wow, that's 432 damage right there. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that attack up from the ninja. Wrath ain't playing around. Even at 60 years old, he can fuck you up. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, so Lust is going to do her thing. Yeah, again, the damage is reduced because of the shell, but it's not that big of a deal. 300. Oh, it's got to be Compats. Uh, no frogs. It's okay, though. Kind of fitting for Envy to cast a frog. And I do remember something about this wizard, by the way. The wizard doesn't have any... Offensive magic, it's all status. So, yeah, let's go to our next map and I'll kind of delve into the details a little bit more. That wizard doesn't have any fire, lightning, or ice spells. She only has frog and toxic. She just wants to be a pure status unit. So, yeah, very interesting. Let's see if we can get like another frog proc. And you probably noticed the high MA value too. Uh, the high MA value, uh, it was like 16, 17 with magic attack up. Magic attack up is, does not augment the chances of toxic skill. Uh, I don't remember if it augments the chances of, like, Frog, but in any case, uh, Greed, the female wizard, is just looking to get any statuses off that you can at high hit rates. So that's pretty much the whole gimmick of that character. So, and yeah, Wrath is just kind of not fucking around. Oof. So Auto Potion, I believe, healed up all of that HP. I don't think he was above 150, so... Unfortunately, it missed right there. I think it was like a 62% or something. Because, yeah, that would have actually boosted the fist damage of the monk a little bit. But 
it did not come into fruition this time. So, a little bit of damage peppered onto the priest and the knight, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. This is just a matter of the... This is a matter of, um... I just think who's going to be able to one-shot who first. Those are some pretty low hit rates. Unfortunately, that Dark Behemoth isn't in the range of the knight. Yeah, see, this is why she's going for the Staff Wax, because she's doing melee damage. Um... But she's not using status. I'm kind of surprised she's not using, like, Threaten or whatever to lower their Brave by 20 points. It's very peculiar how the AI decides when and when not to do that. But Yeah, with um, that Ninja having haste and being 11 speed, he's effectively a 16 speed unit right now due to the haste proc. So we'll see if she's going to go for a Threaten. Yep. I think that's at 100%. Now, do you remember that because Knight Swords are based on uh, Brave, it's going to lower the melee damage of the uh, of this Knight right here. So his damage output is going to be lowered. In any case, he did break that Maximilian, which is 200 HP. So from 546 to 346, very interesting. We're going to see another... Oh, Frog. Alright, 38% though. Um, I wonder if the Dark Behemoth... Nope, alright. I can get him. I can get behind him, killing the uh, uh, the monk right there, because the monk was about to get his turn up. So uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. Oh my god, five that <laughs> damage, man! Absolutely insane. It's got to be compats or something. Its damage is nuts. Uh, yeah, it, it, I, I think. Um, yeah, I think in order for uh, indemnity to have won that. That Dark Behemoth would have had to have landed a shot right there. Because that's just one turn wasted. And now he's going to get pummeled and he get a stop proc uh, for his, uh, as a consequence of missing. That's some crazy fucking damage, like 432, so. Alright, well, congratulations, Melissa. Uh, you take this uh, best of uh, three quite cleanly. Uh, Wrath definitely did his job and just did not fuck around and sliced everybody up to pieces. So, yep. Let me read that. The stars of each uh, zodiac sign constellation. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you for that information. Appreciate it, Prometheus. So, all right. Well, with that said, we're going to move on to match four then, uh, and just see how that one goes. Yep. I'll see you guys in just a bit. <laughs> 